Well, so Harbor Freight's taking more of my money. And I guess we could start at this end of the pile. With the coupon, I got three sets of these pairs of gloves, which are pretty much only good for, you know, light cut protection. Uh, but mainly just to keep your hands free from grease or anything else you're working with. So I've always made it a point to buy these just because they're so cheap. And then under warranty, I had these two batteries replaced for this Chicago drill and recept saw. And I also got new blades for it. My brother gave me both of these tools, but the batteries were shot, so I traded them in on a new pair. So I got that, and I got these, which are line clamps, which you can use for fuel lines or really any other sort of malleable line. And I've been meaning to pick a set of these up. These were, I never see these on sale. I think these were like $16.99 or something like that. So hopefully they're good. But these will be perfect for uh, pinching off small engine fuel lines and stuff like that. It's a lot better than using a pair of alligator vice grips. I also picked up a new breaker bar, which the one I've been using is my dad's. And... Uh, not in the best condition, needs some work, but there has been times where I've needed two, and this one was like six or seven bucks, so I couldn't resist. Picked up another thing of uh, gloves here on sale for ten bucks because it was open. Got this for free with the coupon. And now I have three new ratchets to use here. I plan on making a video on lower, low quality, kind of low to mid quality like these are and higher quality ratchets, just kind of like a comparison between them. And I decided to go with these Harbor Freight ones because I have needed 3 8 inch drive ratchets. Now the ones that I'm replacing are these cheap ass ones, which these alone I could make a whole entire video on. I've broken so many of these things it's ridiculous, but that's what these are replacing. I do have a somewhat decent one in this cobalt box, but it's not really, I'm not really a big fan of using it. And in that video, I'll get into the details on why. But I got a new quarter inch ratchet. And these are both 3 8 inch. I have a similar ratchet to this at the house, to both of these, that kind of wobbles like this. But it's a gear wrench brand. Interestingly, all three of these are made in Taiwan. And that gear wrench one is too. I wonder if it's the same factory. I also picked up an extra pair of these. Because these have really come in handy for cutting off electrical cords and a little bit of crimping. But I did pick up this because you can get more of a uh, centered and better uh, crimp with one of these. It is made in China, like pretty much most of this stuff is, but no idea how it is. The reviews were good enough, so I decided to pick that up. Also with a coupon... This is going to be part of a series of videos where I'm going to review and somewhat stress test a lot of this stuff. This is the 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver set. I don't know how good it is, but I'm willing for, you know, seven or eight dollars to try this out and see how it is. Same with this rotary tool kit. I have needed one of these in the past. They are kind of handy to have. I'm sure this one's a piece of junk, but for eight bucks, make a decent video. Then this one we're really going to stress test. I have another angle grinder. It's a Skill branded one. Uh, but I decided to pick this one up. I got it for 10 bucks, And we have needed more than one grinder here. So I wanted to do a stress test video on this thing. Basically a torture test and see how much we can... Uh, see if we can get it to work or not work or blow up in our hands. But that'll be an interesting video. I also picked up this serpentine belt kit. It comes with a series of cheap crow's feet and sockets, which I know for a fact I don't need any of these. But I have needed this bar, and in the past I've used the two wrench trick, which is kind of a pain in the ass to do because you really got to worry about the wrench falling off of the other wrench and you bam, uh, jamming your knuckle into an alternator or AC compressor. So that's kind of a pain, but hopefully this thing will be decent enough to use. It looks like it'll uh, work just fine for what I want to use it for. And then I also picked this up, which it will have its own video on. Unboxing and general overview. It'll probably be a series of two videos on this. But I picked this up for 50 bucks. I got rid of that larger one that I had, which is oilless as well as this one is. That larger one that I had, all I really used it for was 
airing tires up. That was pretty much it. That and I blew off a few things with uh, with an air hose a couple times. Uh, but other than that, didn't really use it all that much and it was just too big, too large. And I'm trying to consolidate a lot of my stuff and you know downsize what I have. So I got rid of that and got this one. That's the model number. But the reviews are decent enough. You know, things like these are pretty much only made for filling up tires or doing some light, you know, light woodworking, stuff like that. You don't really want to overtax these. And then the best part that I did get was I got this extension to my U.S. General toolbox that I bought from them, I don't know, last summer. And I've been pretty happy with this so far. I've not populated it yet with tools, but I did originally buy this for the house. I went through that toolbox at the house, consolidated everything, basically put all my duplicate tools into um, a tool bag, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them just yet. But at this point, this thing I think is going to be much better suited for duty around here because this thing is pretty much full up, filled up. So I do need to go through this and consolidate things out of this. Get rid of a bunch of tools out of here. And then I was thinking about making a bunch of small tool kits for automotive use. And, you know, just stuff to bring with with you or give them, give them away or something. But I haven't really decided yet what I want to do. But I do plan on making an update video on this whole thing when it's done. So we'll have to figure that out when we come to it. And I think as far as Harbor Freight goes, that's pretty much all I've gotten. I got this Creeper, which was under 20 bucks on sale. But that was showcased in another video. And then, uh, what else? Oh yeah, the saw blades that I picked up. Really nothing special about them. A couple more mag bowls, can never have too many of those. <coughs> but I think that's about it for this video. Stay tuned for more.